Hello world, I'm Uncle Carp, and welcome back to Book of Hours, where between episodes I went through the entire house, and unfortunately this Jervanaut is the only piece of metal we have in the entire building, so it looks like unless we find some metal from these last two caskets or chests or whatever, uh, we're not gonna be able to go in here. Unless I, like, I'm gonna try to find some Maybe once or twice, because I still want to get to the uh, maximum of the wisdoms here. So at least we want to upgrade the disciples of the scar. So that's gonna take a, maybe a day or two, because getting it to level eight uh, requires quite a lot of soul hearts, and we're probably gonna have to like create some of those memories, those edge memories, because we only have a total of four books with lantern, and actually we have. Three books with lantern and edge, I believe, because uh, one of the fear things, not fear, winter. <laughs> For some reason, I always, like, winter is fierce for some reason in my mind. But yeah, this one also, I believe, has lantern in it, and then we can just... Actually, so one, two, three, four, five, six, if we just look at something. So, yeah, that's enough to upgrade this now. And then to get it to level eight, we're gonna, yeah, for that we're gonna need an extra memory. Okay, so uh, let's start working on uh, this uh, then. Uh, I have put the souls that I might need to actually upgrade uh, down here so that we don't use those immediately. Uh, so, okay, Trist in there. Uh, we have a contradiction over there, so we're gonna need to fear from here. Uh, core, do you go to either one of those tables? You do not. Shaft, do you go? Okay, you go there. Okay, Shaft, you go there. Uh, read that for me, and... Uh, Fet, you go there, right? Yep. You go there, and you read that for me. And then we're gonna take the glimmerings here, and we're gonna move them to another table. And, yeah, that's still going on. Well, this is the same session as the previous video. I'm just... Uh, took a little bit of a stretchy there. So I walked around. Stood up, walked around. It's a good thing to do at least once an hour. Okay, so... From here we've <laughs> some serpent milk. <laughs> okay, that's like good to have, I think. Uh, also, I think I really need to look at something. I forgot about that part. Yeah, uh, yeah. You in here, and we'll investigate you with Trist. Who even are you? You're Abba Jeffrey. It was Abba Jeffrey who gave Nathan Regan's birth sanctuary here and decreed the building of the Barbers Tower where Nathan and his family could dwell. Okay. So that's that person who did that. Okay, we get our memories here. One, two, three, four, five with the contradiction we already have. And as soon as we get this side from here, that's gonna be the six we need for our upgrade right now. Oh, she never read the text. No, that was touch! Bloody hell, why was he touch? <sighs> okay, let's consider this one. Didn't really make sense to me. It's just. Could it be? Oh, I placed this where it belonged. Nice. There's a thing like this. Okay. Cool. Uh. But yeah, you're not. Okay. Well, let's hope that at least. I mean, all the uh, these people. What are you called? The wolves. Yeah. At least gave a sight. Okay, there's the sight. Good. So, disciplines of the scar. One. You don't go there. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Oh, right. And the lesson. And that's gonna put that to level seven. So, yeah, we're gonna need one extra memory. Which could might. I mean, we might just use the Newman. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's what we need to get it to level eight, and level eight is what we need to get it to because we already have the level nine already here with our Watchman's paradoxes. Yep. Oh, nice. It's uh, the perfect moment of the day, I believe, when it's just turning into a uh, into a uh, morning. Uh, that's a perfect moment to use, like, uh, you know, the memories that you have here that are gonna go away. So, six things that we need. 
right on, right on, right on. Let's stop. Okay, red. Go there. Get me that memory. Health. Go. Actually, health. Don't go anywhere. Health, you go down here. Metal, you go down there. Get that memory out. Uh, look, right, you take Trist, right? Yep. Uh, get that memory out. Then, where is the Glimmerins? It is there. We'll bring that to the... Actually, bring it to the Barber's Tower. It's gonna go away. Oh, it didn't even go away before we got there. <laughs> didn't go to the desk for some reason, though. Uh... Okay. Oh, and now it's gone again. Okay, let's hope that we're actually putting it to the desk this time. Okay, we were. Good. Uh, yeah, we'll put that fed in there, and... So, did... oh, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, still need to have the fifth from here. And the sixth from the site, and... Uh... Okay, please show that book to me. Okay, well, it's gonna go there. Uh, yeah, let's just the floss. What am I upgrading? Disciplines of the Scars. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna need... Well, I, I'm gonna have the things that I need here. Uh, so that's the five books. Yeah, and then we'll get the sixth by just looking at someone. Let's use you, because we know we can get it from you. Right, and then let's go put out our health over, oh, not there, uh, over here. And skill that looks metallic. <laughs> there are no skills that look metallic. Do we have C stories? Yeah, I don't know. Let's put a big number in there. Okay, do we have any things that go in here? Okay, let's put desires and dissolutions in there. I desire uh, macaroni images. No, I desire metal. Okay, and so what's the highest that can go in here? I see a five, I see a six. I don't think I see any higher things. Yeah, so let's call on chasm. And man, if we were to find some metal, or if there was some metal in here, that would be so, so nice. Because uh, otherwise, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start writing histories pretty soon. Hey, it's Oriflam Day. What are you selling here? The Book of Thrones. Okay, that's uh, I think that's also a book we can find in College Simulator as well. Okay, there's our site. Uh, Walder the Fool, who found Hush Hush the Drolly Castle and left its stately home, will always be remembered for his cowardice, his sorrow, and his son Brian's treachery. Okay. And yeah, there's our site. And now the rest of our memories are gonna come out. Uh, we're gonna grab Pint, Sign of Foresight, Bittersweet Certainty, Fear, Revelation, Contradiction. Okay, and now if we put the Disciplines of the Scar in here, we put the Lessons in there, we put these memories. Oh, and we can put Sun. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't even have to use the movement for that, so uh, that makes me happy. Uh, well, I know, use Susan Wist. Okay, so that's now going to be a level 8. Uh, oh, what are these two things? Oh, right, this finished. <sighs> just, I'd like to just drop this here. I have zero interest in picking it up. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, seriously, that need, that's the only thing I really, really want in this game still. Just to have a, just dump it. Dump it button in these places where I can find new stuff, because... Uh, yeah, this stuff going here and it being completely useless, it just, just, it does nothing, like, for me as a person. It does nothing for me as a gamer. It does nothing for me as a means of getting this game moving forward. Okay, so disciplines of the scar. Now, first of all, uh, we're gonna have to see, what was the other thing you would go for? Hushery, okay, you go in here, that will give us a tryst, or you can go in here. And then that will give us a fast. Uh, what is our fast? Oh, we have, right, our fast situation is... Uh, plus, plus, plus fast. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna most definitely just put you in there. Uh, I didn't really care about the fast. And then uh, we are going to put you in there. And you're gonna give us a fast as well. Okay, so now we have mastered illumination. I mastered the wisdom of purification of the self and its surroundings. 
Okay, that also gave me a Steam uh, achievement here. Okay, yeah. That's the first. Okay, so where can I combine you? Well, uh, that should not be very difficult. Uh, Illumination Fost. Okay, what is Illumination Fost? Oh, the Watchman, right, of course. Well, <laughs> the Watchman's Paradoxes, of course, we're gonna take it to the Watchman. Uh, which one was it? Was it you or was it the other one? No, you're the Madrigal, so the Watchman is here. No, that's Saint Januarius. Uh, by the way, who even is Saint Januarius? It's the name which was wounded, the name of exceptions, the little god at the door. Okay, whose name? The Watchman's? Maybe? Okay, so yeah, here is the Shrine of the Watchman. We'll put our Fosts in there. We will put our Disciples of the Scar in there. We'll brighten my Fost. Okay. So yeah, that kind of... Yeah, so we mastered Wisdom. That was one of the things I wanted to do. And that has now been done. And it didn't actually seem to have an, any kind of effect on anything. So... Yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so this is still... Come on. Give me something metallic, something unregarded. Come on, be, please, be, be metal, be metal, be metal, be metal, be metal, be metal. No, just a small porphyrine. Well, that just tells me that, yeah, we're just going to write the history thing now. That's what's gonna happen right now. Okay, so let's uh, get to it. Where's my journal? There's my journal. Where's the Noom? Okay, we need to get this Noomen out. Uh, read it on this... No, not to read it on this table. Let's read it here, because I still want to have my uh, mail available. Uh, this is in few scene. That's few scene. Okay, read that. Right. Oh, man. Just really would want to get in here. Alright, I'm still doing this, uh, yeah, come on, give me metal, give me metal, give me metal! Uh, no, instead we just got the Book of Thrones, don't really care about that, because I didn't know if I'm gonna be reading any more books. Yeah, that could just, would really just like to throw that away. Okay, Wis, oh no, Triss still goes in here, uh, Desires and Dissolution, shh, you know what? Can we put Edix Marshall in there? Yes, we can. Okay, yeah, let's see, because I'd really like to put something with Forge in there. I, I don't know if it matters, but it just makes me feel better if it had Forge in it. Okay, so here is our Newman at the Bells of Is. Okay, let's then head to a table of Forge over here. All right, put the metal in there. The Newman in there, put our journal in there, put in the ink that we need. Is it this one? Yep. Yeah. Put that in there, put in the transformations. Right. Revolutionary victory got from steel will bring a second dawn. From the crucibles where ruined is metals, new hours rise, and in their history, culture will not prevent it. When the library cross history in the hot tech, no making this thing can be reversed, we'll begin the end game. Okay, you know, before we do that, let's save. We'll call it end game. And then we can maybe come back to it if uh, uh, you know, if it looks like, oh, shit, sh should not really have done that just yet. Then again, there's really nothing left for us here anymore, so... Probably what I need to do. Okay, over here goes the ink. Over there goes our journal. Over there goes the metal. Over there goes the Newman. And over here goes the transformations and liberations. Okay, let's see. Start that. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, it is written. You have recorded a new history. Bring it to Earl Brian's field in the season of Numa, and the hours will bear witness. Earl Brian's field? In Numa. Okay, do we get... So what do we get here? My history. I have recorded history in which the gods will still bring the second dawn through the Numa and the belts of Is. This story is n not what happened. It's not what we have happened. You have made a decision that will change the world's course. I'm going to tree... Okay, so... Okay, so we gotta wait for Numa, and then we 
can just win. Okay, well... I mean, I could st still be reading more, but what I think I'm gonna be doing instead is... Uh, okay, here's my plus plus. And here is some Whispering Sands. Yeah, I'm just gonna gather... Because... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait until it's Numa. And I'm just gonna be gathering stuff here. Because I'm not... I don't think I'm gonna be reading any more books. I don't think I'm gonna be... Ooh, there are the Numa books, though. The Numen books, though. Numina books. Uh, that we'd... I'd kind of like to see what they give. Like, what the actual... Uh... Numans give. Uh, so yeah, that might be a good idea. So yeah, let's do that still. Uh, well, I mean, we're, we're gonna have to wait until Numa anyway, so uh, might as well do things while we're waiting. Okay, so which ones have I read? I have read that one. I have read that one. I have not read this one. I have read that one. Which place go there? I have not read this one. I have read that one. Uh, so these two are on Rex, they're in a language I don't speak. Uh, this one we could read, and this one we could read. Now, Shapt, your forge or knock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and... Where's the ninth one? Wait, I had it in my... I had it in my inventory, didn't I? It was the, uh... Where did it go? Where did I put it? I do not remember. Or was it this? No, it wasn't this. Uh... Huh. Don't know. Well, okay, so let's see. This is Mystery of Edge. Okay, we should be able to read a Mystery of Edge, uh, even if we don't have the correct uh, soul part for that. Because uh, it is Marshall, is... Oh, it's only a nine! Damn. I know you know we used to forbid an epic to read this. Uh, well, so might as well wait until tomorrow then. And tomorrow is here. So yeah, let's read this. Put that in there. Put a little bit of metal in there. And put uh, the uh, Edix Marshal in there. And the language of Saba C. Right. That's the language. Yeah, okay, we'll see what is the new man we find from here, and yeah, since it is a new day, let's just go and see if we can find metal things. Hmm. I'm just gonna use the sea stories. I mean, because I don't know if it matters. Oh, I really like... To, oh, man. Probably at some point I just have to do like a... a you know, what, what... I don't know what I'd even call it. An experimentation run where I just do this for a while and just uh, write out what we're actually finding from here. You know, it's just Path and Pilgrim. Yeah, to figure out what... What is the deck in these places? Uh, if it's even possible to find the things that I want to find from uh, there. Do not know. Okay, so here comes our first batch of stuff we found. A Viper Egg, don't care about that. A package! 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 Packages are always good. Packages are always good. Uh, okay, let's drop this over here. And put the package in our inventory, and then we're gonna see if we can find more things. Okay, effort. Yeah, and seems like sea story seems to bring me more packages than other things. Uh, I have no idea if that there's any truth to that, or if it's just my uh, confirmation bias going wild. Okay, and then. About the meadows here. Uh, okay, put a little bit of that in there. Put a little bit of I don't know whatever. Golden castle, I'm not sure. Okay, and now we got ourselves another new. All right, this gives lessons as well. Well, I probably should upgrade my skills with those. Uh, the sky in the sky. Gnomic exhortations that might be described as emergency procedures for the return of the traveling kinds of the Carapace Cross. Each page of this book, except the last, bears a single sign, clear and irrefutable as a gem. The final page is empty. The traveling kinds of the Carapace Cross might never return. Okay, so this gives us two lessons in Sickle and Eclipse, and the new men back into balance. When the traveling Carapace kinds passed beyond the wave and the sky, they made arrangements for their return. 
There are histories where those arrangements might be in vogue. And, ooh, revolutionary can win a particular victory. Oh, so here's another one that would allow us to win a particular victory. Well, I think the older numbers are for two, maybe, yeah. And I think that, well, like, we counted, there was nine places of them at least. So yeah, everything, everyone must have two uh, they can use for their own victory. Okay, uh, and yeah, sickle and eclipse. Honestly, because if, if, if we were just waiting for Numa, I really don't see any reason why we'd start, like, keep on upgrading our skills. Well, 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 is there maybe a reason to do that? Like, if we could master two wisdoms, could that be a reason for that? Um, and we gotta do bird song. There's so no, 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 no. We're just gonna stop reading. We're in a point where history is going to be rewritten. So uh, I'm just gonna check out what we got in this box. Be metal, be metal, be metal, be metal, be metal. Be something metal. Just yeah, like copper wire. Okay, what is what is? Please, please copper wire. Cop. Oh, okay, an abandoned luggage. Okay, well we're gonna have to see what we find from there again. I'm re something rare. Okay, come on, Germanite. Be another piece of Germanite and I will be happy. Okay, just some wood that is on. Fortunately, they go into my inventory right now. Wouldn't really want it there. And a piece of driftwood. Okay. And anything else? Oh, Trist goes in here as well. Oh, did not realize that. Uh, more of the sea stories. Okay, does anything else go in here? Okay, the core still goes in here. Closing chasm, sure. Come on, copper wire, copper wire, copper wire! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, come on, come on. Oh, more wood, more sand. Okay, I still can put the twists in here. Uh, put that there, put the sea stories in there. Like, I'm just gonna do this until we get to new mass. I think I might as well just, you know, cut here and, uh, well, well, I'll get back to you if anything interesting happens. Oh, wait, 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 we still have those Newman books to read, though. Yeah, 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 that's, that's still something that's actually interesting, so, uh, let's see what we, I mean, if we had, well, these two, uh, we can't, this one we already did. So you go there, and this is the last thing we have, okay, so. Uh, you go there. Uh, you are written in Kilsimi. Uh, that there. Uh, what is the mystery we're after here? Moth. Uh, Trist is moth, right? Yep. And what is my moth skill? Oh, transformation liberation. Trip master that mystery. Kept the book read. So this was. A tufted fossil of silken fiber, big as a child. Something consumed, and something was consumed. If we interpret its interweavings, we might understand. The meaning of this object isn't something that one reads, but rather something that one follows, until at last one has passed three times around it, and one finds the meaning waiting at one's shoulder. Uh, weaving and not working, times two, and Newman, weaving the world. The histories they say are braided like hair, or tangled like roots. What is the shape of that knot? Funny, you should ask. Okay, uh... Psy emerges and the cartographer can win a particular victory with that one. Uh, which actually... Uh, the weaving and knot working reminded me of a thing. Because we did have that weird... Yeah, this this thing here. So if we put that in here, because I know that it goes in there. Uh, we'll put our core in there. And we put... What is my biggest... Oh, is it... Uh, herbs and infusions. Okay, we put you in there. That's Regensburg Balm. Was really hoping to get to heart 15 with that. Uh, probably not the skill though. Weaving and not working. So we need a four. Well, if we can upgrade it twice. Yeah, we could upgrade this twice. That would be a 13. And then we get a memory of heart 2. We could see if we could get something happening here. Or. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're, we're trying to have a memory. Uh, I think we could create. Yeah, we could create another one of those. 
Uh, wait, actually, we can just use this here. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay, well, here we have the other fifth theft. So, uh, oh, that went here as well. Okay, that one I actually want in my inventory. So let's drop this here. Grab the fifth theft. So now that we have two of them, maybe we can get to 15 heart with other skills. Uh, of course I used my core. Of course I did. Well, tomorrow things and then. Uh, we'll put that down here as well, so remember that they're there. Okay, tomorrow is here, so let's put our fifth fifth in here. Let's put our core in there. Okay, so five is what we need to be for the uh, heart to be to actually maybe get anything from this. So herbs and infusions. Yeah, that's just gonna try and do the Regan's bomb, so that will help for us. Weaving and not working. We'll just try to do Frith Weft. Uh, do we have heart in any of our memories that we have here? Well, the Newman has. Okay, so we can do Swaddled Thunder. Draw storm potential into the Weft to capture more heart aspect. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, maybe that'll be metal. It's probably not gonna be metal, but I can hope, right? Also, so here is the Swaddle of Thunder. Sleep, O thou Tempest, for now bow thy head. So what is this? A storm swayed in subtle threads, ready to be released with a few judicious snips. It's got Heart 6 and Sky 4, and it is a fabric. Okay, that kind of makes me like... So the I think the only person, the only thing I've ever found reasons to use fabrics are this machine and uh, Mrs. Killy, right? They're the only people who take fabrics in any way, shape, or form. So this is like a lot of work to get to heart six so that you can increase Mrs. Killy's heart aspect. Huh. Uh, okay, well, uh, there's also, like, can we use you to maybe create something else? Uh, I don't have any health things left for today. Okay, it's uh, Lala Kaima is here. Oh, she speaks! Crack track! Huntress Gumi, occasional bureau consultant. When it can't be killed and it really needs killing, Kaima's the one they turn to. Uh, the affair of the other horizon. Sailors have a term for the compass world phenomenon which occurs before sightings of the city is. They say a compass is called the giddy horizons. There is something of a giddy epidemic in the North Sea this year. Okay, now, Lala Kaima, we are just straight up gonna take crack track from you, because that means that we can then read the two other Numen books. Well, the two Numen books we still have left. Afterwards, we will know all the Numina. I mean, I assume we will know all the Numina. Okay, and Kaima for us. Crack track, which means we can read... Ooh, the affair of the other... Oh, right, this is... I was like, what is this? Uh, for some reason, the achievement for the... Like, the incident, it only happens after you've talked to the person that comes with the incident. It's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so... So, 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 these two. What are you? You are Grail. Should not be a problem. Go there, we'll use our reb, we'll use the language of crack, track, wait, where did you go, oh, right, this is probably the bottom, and desires and dissolutions, yep, yeah, we'll see what we have here, so this is a scroll of anthropoder parchment written in the golden ink called Uzult. Okay, so we read uh, this thing, the author of the text calls herself the Elagable Line, Elagable Line, Sometimes she seems to be Sunset Celia, the Watchman's name. Sometimes she seems to be Lady Trifon, the Grail Long. It is unclear whether these separate entities are the same person, uh, whether these are separate entities or the same person. It may be unclear even to the writer. The flaws in the sun's plans are elucidated. The sun's plan itself is never entirely clear, but it is a project of some kind to enter. Possess or surrender to the glory, the pure light above the madnesses. This book suggests ways in which that plan might fail. Okay, so the sun's weakness, the sun's sins, and the sun's scars are our salvation. Uh, there are histories where they will trap us, prevent us rising to eternity. 
Why on and you're looking along? What this, this, these symbols look familiar in where well there's the eye, the eyes uh, oh apple bright even is Yeah, the eyes are pretty pretty normal thing we've been seeing. That's a symbol that keeps repeating. Okay, and was there still one? I think yeah, there's still one. Uh, it's that that thing we found from the tree. Okay, seven troops. Uh, you go there. Uh, language is crack track. Uh, what is my biggest biggest nectar? Is it herbs and illusions? It sure looks like it. Put that there, and yeah, we're gonna have to put health there to get yeah that one mastered as well. Okay, so that's gonna be yeah, that's the ninth. That's the ninth Newman for us, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, yeah, nine from the uh, the one that we used, and it seems like the I don't know the I don't know where the book went. Uh, I thought it was, was supposed to be here, but apparently not. Oh, and there's uh, some books we could all right. Yeah, we still have books we could read, but we're just not doing that because uh, doesn't seem to be any point to it anymore. So here is what I believe is to be the last Newman that we're going to find. I mean, there could still be like, oh wait, no, don't press, just see, press M. Uh, yeah, I mean, there could still be something here that would give us Newmans, the Numina. Uh, but yeah, so uh, this was a massive rootstock, shiny with age, but still somehow viable. Tiny spiders scratching one of embedded eggshell shots encode a cryptic message. Sea pawn, tide drawn, many skate sister, witch lover. The house of the moon will always have its messenger, though its messenger is different each time, in eye and flesh and heart. Feet, uh, fights, feats, posterns, loopholes, set down against the advent of eternity by powers favoring imperfection and impermanence. In other words, this plus history, uh, twice born can win a particular victory. Oh, this is only for the twice born. Oh, interesting. Most of them have two, right? Okay, so this is the Newman of Loopholes, and some lessons right of the roots. Okay... Hey, it's finally Numa! It only took me about a hundred and six... I only, yeah, I only gather hundred and six things on the bridge there, until it became Numa. A thing I learned there, because I was keeping count, uh, a season has six days. So, before we go and actually drop our journal, to where uh, it needs to go. I'm just gonna show you all of the 106 things I have found here, of which none are metal. Not a single thing. And you can see there's a lot, a lot of these slabs, a lot of sand, a lot of mackerel, a lot of wood. But yeah, nothing metal in here at all. Wait, actually, now suddenly I'm thinking, maybe, no, 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 no this isn't metal. Ah, uh, yeah, so that means that we're not going to be seeing uh, the last three locations here in this run. That is unfortunate. I really would have liked to see them. Uh, I'm actually just going to grab this, just make absolutely sure that none of these things over here are metal. Okay, let's see. If I put on things, yeah, they're all things. If I put metal, not a single one of them is metal. Okay, but it is Numa. So what we are going to do is we're just going to go over here... Just make sure that it is actually Numa. Yeah, it is actually Numa. Yeah, we got the Noom broom there. Okay. And then we are going to put our journal in here and our metal. Call for my history to be witnessed. Earth, sky, sea, bear witness to my work. You wrote a history which at least one of the hours will endorse. It's the point of no return. None of these histories are strange or wild. Unless you're certain you want to end the game, remain here in the peace of the house. No, no, no. This is now it's time to end the game. So let's see what uh, this does. Also, there's a, a matter of not entangle on Mopsy. Ooh. Franklin has already acted on that. Right, so you're interested in that as well. Doesn't really matter, because we're ending the game, I believe, right now. Yep, got three achievements here. I unlock the judgment card, it says here. Okay. Revolutionary victory, the new names. The new king's foundries and workshops quiver with life. The songs of the foundry names ring out across the sky. When dawn comes, the king has promised there will be no war in Europe. The foundries concur, but also they promise a victory. I understand this paradox. There will be a war, but not against our earthly enemies. You have proved yourself as a librarian, convinced the hours to accept a history, changed the world, won the game. This is the memory that does not die. Please accept our congratulations. Okay, what does enter history then? 
Uh, your history is a revolutionary victory, the new names. Right on, begin again, main menu, uh, continue. Oh, there's a histories button there. Okay, main menu. Oh, wait, 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 what if I go and begin again? It's just yeah, it just starts a new game. Okay, so what we're gonna do here uh, in the end, so this, so we finished the game. Okay, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my other games here. We're gonna load it, and because here I should still have all the metal left, so we're gonna go and open that one door, and we're gonna see what the next, what we get from there, and what the next door requires. But we're not actually gonna do those. Uh, we're just going to, cause I really, really, really just want to get uh, that done. So yeah, this is another history in which I am. Huh, let's see what I got here. A lot less skills. Uh, yeah, my fit is plus 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 here. Uh, yeah, th th that's n none of that is important. Uh, what is important is getting two pieces of metal. That's metal. Uh, that's fuel, and uh, where are other pieces of metal? There's got to be other pieces of metal here somewhere. Uh, wait, are you considered metal? No. Uh, what did I hover over on? Because I'm pretty sure that in this particular history I have not used metal for anything. Uh, very much because of the fact that we realized that thing about uh, those things. So yeah, there's metal. Okay, I'm going to grab that. Yeah, because I have used the other one. Already, so I have these two metals left in my place. Because as as far as I can see, there are four pieces of metal that are in the uh, in here always. Uh, yeah, just during the lower level pumps, we'll do that. And yeah, we're just gonna see what happens here. Okay, so this is now done. It gives us uncovered depths. Once more, the CS withdrawn from the caves of the Isle. Okay, so that we can then put over here. Right, the sea has claimed these caves. The tide thunders below. I'll need to find some way to lower the waters below. Enter. Yep, that is the way. Let's see what there is over here. Okay, so this is Sea Caves, the curious last secret, right on the Governor Collar's nose. Levinson, Blackwood, and Van Loren all continued their careful investigations of the Brancrock Sea Caves. Many of the species here are known to Cornwall. Some have not been anywhere under the sun. Uh, here is the Sea Caves. Which seems to be a place where we can find, uh, try to find stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's get at least one thing out of here and see if it's somehow uh, noticeably different to the other things. Okay, this requires this is menacing phosphorescence. The pumps have drained enough water to splash through, but everything is patched and splattered. Sticky alien, wondrous mesmeric light. When I treat, I find the same glow in my boots. Whatever I do, I shouldn't do it hastily. Yeah. So okay, so it requires moon or nectar. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna be opening this here now. I just wanted to see what is required here and uh, yeah that, that this actually gets can be opened uh but yes yeah, so let's uh i don't want to save and quit well it's just gonna do the uh like the base save uh no it's not gonna say over the game but yeah so yeah that was a book of hours in it uh, well not in its totality, because we didn't read all the books, uh, we didn't get to all the rooms, uh, we didn't figure out all the recipes, but that was a playthrough. So, final thoughts on this game right now. First of all, it's a good game. It's a very good game. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, compared to Call This Simulator, it's not as good. Call This Simulator says 10 out of 10. Uh, this is... Uh, 9 out of... Yeah, 9 out of 10, basically, this game. Uh, why is this, in my eyes, not as good as Call is Simulator? Well, it's because of the scale and the scope. So, in Call is Simulator, we have a... Okay, first of all, what I mean by scale is the size of the game world, and what I mean by scope is the, uh, the ideas that are brought in the narrative, right? So, the scale of Call is Simulator is basically like what? Two screens worth of stuff, because it's the table where you get all the cards. And the scope is that we are a cult leader and we're doing lots of different kind of things. We're sending people out to a, set, a different place in the world. We are, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that we're doing in uh, Cult Simulator as we are the leader of the cult. In this game, on the, uh, like, so the scope is larger, but the scale is smaller. On this game, it's the other way around. The scale is much larger, because, you know, the house is big, we gotta move around a lot. 
But the scope is smaller, as we're only a librarian doing librarian things. So I think that's a kind of a, like a... Doesn't really work quite as well in this game as it does in Cultist Simulator. Uh, I did complain about some little things here in the game, but most of them were not really that important. And a lot of them got fixed, like, during this Let's Play. Uh, a lot of things I complained about and said, well, this should be in this game, and it's actually in the game now, so that's very nice. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I love the writing, uh, and this is one of the things about me and Call of Simulator, because I think a lot of the people who are fans of Call of Simulator, they seem to be fans of the world and the writing, like, primarily, and fans of the game uh, secondarily. I am primarily a fan of the mechanics of Call of Simulator. I love the mechanics of Call of Simulator. I think the mechanics in that game are awesome. Uh, so this uses pretty much the same mechanics, but quite differently. Well, not even that differently. And yeah, it's, it works here as well. And I really, in this game, I really love the Tree of Wisdom. I really love putting all, like, my wisdoms in there, getting that stuff, figuring that out, getting that stuff happening. And yeah, awesome game. Awesome game. Nah, 9 out of 10, I will say, because it's not as good as Call of Simulator, so it can be a 10 out of 10. Uh, so it has to be a 9 out of 10. But yeah, uh, that's it for now. I think I'm going to play something else next. I'm probably going to go back to uh, Shadows Forbidden Gods, because there are a couple of gods in that game that I did not do a run for yet. So I want to do those runs. And then we're going to come back to Book of Hours, and we're going to do every single one of the histories. Yes, that's, that's the goal for this game on this channel right now. We're going to do all of the histories. I assume that the next games are going to go pretty fast, much, much faster, because I am going to be planning what I'm going to be doing, you know, at least a little bit. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm Uncle Carp. This has been Book of Hours. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time. No, you know what? Let's actually do something else here in there. Let's not, let's not finish there, because I started with my notes. I'm going to show you my notes right now. Okay, just a little postscriptum here. I am an idiot, and I do apologize for the game and for Weather Factory. Of course there's a recipe for Jervinite. Of course there's a way to create metal. For some reason, I just didn't, you know, think that there was. Uh, but about, you know, 15 minutes or half an hour after fin I finished recording, I played with the other save I showed you a little bit of. And I found the recipe for Jervinite with the help of the, uh, like, the new crafting system. Didn't really take me that long. I should have known there's something, because, you know, it's a mystical alloy. Of course, we can just... And we need it to create something else, like, in a bigger level recipe. So, of course, there's a recipe for that. And also, you can get metal out of Iron Spintree, apparently. Which, you know, I should have seen that coming as well. So, yeah, there are ways to get metal. I was just being an idiot. I do apologize for that. Uh, just, you know... Think out that all the times I was complaining about that, just think of me just being saying that I am an idiot, I am an idiot, I am an idiot, I am an idiot, because that's what I am, apparently. Uh, so yeah, pretty perfect game, actually. Can't, can't really complain about anything, because all the things I complained about was just me being bad. But yeah, let's get to my notes now. Boom, so here are my notes. Okay, so first page here, this is just mostly random stuff, uh, just, you know, didn't really know what's good stuff, so just random stuff. Uh, I got the souls here, I got the people here. Uh, we can find from the bar the bigger people. Uh, on the next page, I have a little... Oh, wait, actually, this is the... The reason I use these kinds of things so I can make, like, pages out. So on this page, I gathered a lot of the stuff that was on the first page. Uh, I got some Numen, Numina here, I got people here. Uh, I got the... Uh, Whatever these are called, the Awen, the Ubisun, the Duende, and the Epiphany here. Got the uh, normal people over here as well. I uh, got my system of where I'm keeping my notes of or my memory of any kind. And also the system where I figured out how long the day actually works over here. Uh, I have memories and stuff over here. This is all the memories I found. Well, maybe not all of them. Some of them I might not have added here in the end. Love some of the bigger ones that we need to craft. Uh, might not be there. Over here I have uh, memories from characters. As you can see, yeah, we grinded Denzel quite clearly to see what he's got. Uh, didn't really grind the other ones that much uh, during this run. Uh, here I have visitors. All the visitors. I have, uh, you know, the 
thing they want and the languages they can speak over here. I think this is all of them, uh, including the new map people. So there are not that many visitors in the game. Uh, maybe I've missed some. I am not 100% sure. Here I have my list of people who were the barons. This is all the barons and this is all the librarians. I was going to take all the abbots and abbotses as well, but there didn't seem to be any point in uh, figuring that information out, so I did not. And then on the next page, I have, well, this is also a, like a thing that I have checked out. This is the Tree of Wisdom, because I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that it works like this in the beginning. So I just started taking for every level, like what do they give, what do they give, then I figure out the way. It's, it gives either one of these things. So uh, that was very good information to find. Uh, here are all the, uh, well, what I call shrines, the evolution machines that we found. I think this is all of them. Oh, the fact that we can use memories to create anything into an evolution machine now is awesome, though. Uh, I did write down all the edibles as well. Uh, actually, I'm not 100% sure if this is all, because at some point I was like, oh, man, there's so many of them, I don't really feel like uh, writing them all down. Uh, the same thing with items. Like, this is just, just items. Just the items in the game. Uh, and yeah, then on the second page, I did a little bit of things here. Uh, there are some memories or some, or not memories, some things that when you touch, they give you a specific memory. So I started to put some of them down here. Basically just the year tally and the awakened feather are important things. Uh, oh, at some point I tried to, uh, I had lessons as a different thing, but then I figured, no, I can just take skills. Skills and lessons are the same thing. Don't need to do anything with those. Uh, I have the rooms here. Uh, at some point I stopped writing what the rooms are as well. I probably should redo them very much for the reason so that I could plan my runs better. And uh, what do we got here? Crafting! Oh yeah, my first page of crafting recipes. Uh, yeah, this was just random crafting things. Uh, then I started doing actual recipes and this is basically where I went wrong. Because I thought that there was two of everything for every level. And that's why I thought there wasn't a recipe for metal, because we had I had found two recipes for knock 10 here with a liquid and a memory. So I didn't think that there was other, even though here it says in my knock 15, even says knock 15 plus Jervenite. So of course I should have known that Jervenite is something that we can create. But no! But yep, that's uh, and then oh, because there are the like the uh, excessive stuff. Like I had two for everything, and then I started figuring out, oh, there's excessive stuff. I should just figure out that there's, yeah, there's probably gonna be three for every level and that would have made everything so much better for me in the future. Workbenches over here. So I have the workbenches down here. I have uh, the aspect over here. So the X marks what aspects of the, the pro that workbench has. And also I have written on a lot of these, uh, like you can see in very small print here, uh, what they take if they take something like special desks. I know what they take. Uh, so yeah, and for some, I had to write it over here because it didn't fit over here because yeah, added it afterwards. So uh, that's why digital notes are sometimes better than physical notes because with digital notes, it's easy to add stuff like this uh, with uh, physical notes because space, space is an issue that it's not that easy uh, quite often. Oh, second level of workshops. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of workshops in the game. And then, then the skills, skills, which I believe these are the most important thing in the game. And as you can see, I have written down oh, the skill that it is, the aspects that it gives, uh, which, which wisdoms it goes to if it has something special, because some of them have something special. And then at some point I realized, well, maybe I should start writing down uh, what aspects or soul aspects they give. So that's added there in the end. Once again, would have been better to do that with a physical, uh, digital notes. There are a total of one and two and a little bit more uh, skills that I have found. I believe this is all of them now. And then we have books. Books, books, books. books. And this is, <laughs> I kind of I kind of love this a page because as you can see here in the beginning, my uh, writing, my uh, writing was uh, pretty like, uh, how, how would I call this, uh, wide, because I hadn't written anything with my hands in a long time. And then if we go down and down and down on this page, it gets tighter and tighter. <laughs> And the same thing kind of like it gets tighter and tighter like all the time all the way down to like somewhere here at the page because you know And this is a very good uh, Presentation of what practice does, you know, if you haven't practiced the thing It's gonna look like this and then when you have practiced it It's gonna look like this so yeah, yeah, and the amount of pages of uh, This I have there's one there's two there is 
three, four, five, six pages of books. So I got the name of the book, I got the mystery that it requires, and what you get when you solve the mystery. So from uh, the Bellis Murorum, you get Disciplines of the Scar, and you get a Memory of Contradiction. Now, do I still have anything else here in my notes? No, that was all the notes I had. Yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to show you here. Uh, so yeah, I'm Uncle Carp. This has been Book of Hours. Goodbye, Rob. Thanks for watching. See you next time.